Day 12, leaving Trout Lake, back on the road again. Cascade locks are bust. Let's go hiking. At the beginning of August of this year, I left to go solo backpacking the Pacific Crest Trail here in Washington. Hopping on the PCT at Snoqualmie Pass, I headed southbound or Sobo towards Cascade Locks, Oregon. For 17 days and 250 miles, I'd solo backpack this section of the PCT. Along the way, I went swimming in Alpine lakes, ate some of my favorite snacks, got a bit of trail magic, camped at 10 sites all by myself, took in all of the beautiful views, visited various landmarks, watched countless sunrises and sunsets, got eaten alive by the bugs, and soaked my feet every chance I got. This trip reminded me how much I needed the solitude and my me time out on trail. So here's how I went solo backpacking along the Pacific Crest Trail for 250 miles this summer, all the way from Snoqualmie Pass here in Washington to Cascade Locks, Oregon. Let's go hiking. Kind of makes you nervous when you hear gunshots in the forest. <laughs> Hopefully they're not shooting hikers. Today was only a 10 mile day out of town. Took the 730 shuttle out of Trout Lake and then got back to the trail probably about eight. And now it's two o'clock and I have my camp set up. I'm here at Mosquito Creek, which the name is very misleading because maybe seen one mosquito. Hikers going northbound told me that they come out at dusk. I'll be in my tent by then. <laughs> I just walked down to Mosquito Creek, which is 0.1 miles down the trail and soaked my feet. I have plenty of water. Now I'm gonna eat a snack and maybe take a nap. We'll see if I end up getting this campsite to myself. Okay, real quick. Ladies, have you been wanting to go on a solo backpacking adventure but feel overwhelmed and don't know where to start with planning a trip like this? Are scared of camping alone? Not sure how to handle wildlife encounters? Need help getting gear and food sorted out? Keep making up excuses of why you can't get to the trailhead? Are you letting your fears or other people's fears talk you out of going alone? Or maybe you're just tired of waiting for someone else to go hiking or backpacking with. If you want to learn how to be more comfortable and confident with getting out on trail by yourself, I've created an online program just for you. The Confident Solo Female Backpacker System is a comprehensive, self-paced, online, women-specific backpacking program that will walk you through step-by-step -step everything you need to know in order to plan, prepare, and build up your confidence to comfortably and safely go on either your first or next backpacking trip solo. In addition to the online program, students of the Confident Solo Female Backpacker System also have access to live weekly group coaching calls where you'll get customized feedback, a private online community of other like-minded female hikers and backpackers, and the opportunity to join me for day hikes 
and backpacking trips throughout the year. Want to see if the Confident Solo Female Backpacker System is the perfect program for you? Sign up for a free one-on-one -on -one Zoom call where you'll speak to me live and get all the details about the Confident Solo Female Backpacker System and ask any questions you have about the program. And if we decide you're a good fit for the program, you'll get the opportunity to enroll in the next class during our call. Click the link below to either sign up for your free one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me or to be notified when the next round of enrollment opens up for the Confident Solo Female Backpacker System. Okay, back to the video. It's a little after seven. I actually left camp a little bit ago and uh, stopped somewhere else to eat breakfast and camp ended up getting pretty busy. There were people that were coming in after dark with their headlamps and having to go somewhere else because the tent site was full. I'm on trail, super excited. I got to meet Kat, who's one of my students. I actually got to meet her in person. We camped right next to each other last night, which was super awesome. And she is hiking the PCT northbound. So I got to hear all about her trip. Today, heading to Blue Lake. Looks like it's a little overcast. Not sure how much of a lake day it's gonna be, but 13 miles today. Let's go hiking. wonderful rest of my day at Blue Lake, free from bugs, thanks to the wonderful breeze. Epic tent site right above the lake, and I had a lot of good rest. Today, I'm gonna take an alternate. So there's a red mountain lookout coming up, which it's probably an extra two miles, and not sure how much extra elevation gain, but I'm going for the 360 degree views. Let's go hiking. I rarely take alternates off the PCT, but I hear this is a good one, so let's go check it out. Ooh, it's steep, but I'm getting closer. more to go but now it's a dirt road and it doesn't look as steep almost there This alternate was totally worth it. I think I might be hiking an extra 2.2 miles today and little extra elevation gain, but 
totally worth it. And I have this whole place to myself. I can see all the volcanoes. I can see Adams, I can see Rainier, I can see Mount St. Helens, I can see Hood, I can see Jefferson off in the distance. Like, it's phenomenal. I can't believe there's no one else up here. I should take alternates more often. Prayers for my shoes. <laughs> Hope they make it to Cascade Box. Officially back on the PCT. This is what carrying three liters of water up a climb looks like. The things I'll do for a beautiful dry camp. So tonight I'm at a gorgeous tent site. There's a Mount Hood behind me. I've got this wonderful, flat, sheltered, shaded spot. The only thing is it's a dry camp, which means there's no water up here. So I had to carry the water that I would need for tonight up a big climb with me. I'm gonna show you how I did that. So I brought three liters of water. I've got one liter of water here, which I always carry a liter of water. And then I have Two liters of water here. Morning from day 15, Mount Hood right back there. This is my tent site for last night. It was awesome. Other hikers end up rolling in a little bit later, so wasn't the only one here, but it was still a pretty epic tent site. Today is a creek day, so I've got an eight mile descent down to Panther Creek, which I'm gonna soak my feet in, and then Wind River. There's an awesome bridge there that I want to soak my feet in again. And I'm doing like 14 miles today and camping at Trout Creek, which again, I'm gonna soak my feet in. So it's 7.30 now, Getting out of camp a little bit late, but that's okay because it's mostly downhill. Let's go hiking. Was a fun little stop. Gotta use the pit toilet, gotta throw away my trash, and sat at a picnic table and ate some snacks. Oh, and I got cold water.
a crowded campsite. When I got there and set up my camp, there was only one other tent. And I woke up this morning, there was people cowboy camping and tenting all up and next to each other. So that was the last water for 10 miles. I've got a five mile climb up and a five mile hike down to the next water source. So getting a little bit earlier for start today to hopefully beat the heat for the first climb and maybe some of the second climb. And I'm doing an 18 mile day today. I decided to add a couple extra miles to today. So I only had 11 miles into town tomorrow. Let's go hiking. <laughs> right now today was an 18 mile day over 5,000 feet of elevation gain I only took a couple of stops there's a fly buzzing around me the last two miles were really hard it was like exposed in the hot sun lots of rocks lots of overgrown bush but I'm here last 10 site on the PCT for this trip and so far I'm the only one trail day 17 11 miles to cascade locks and it's all downhill and i'm even up before the sun yay let's go get a burger just me and the spider webs this morning apparently i'm the first one through and i get the pleasure of walking through all the spider webs and they are all over my body. And the trail has been pretty rocky so far. This part's pretty smooth and very steep. It's like the trail knows it's town day, so it just makes you work a little bit more harder to remind you of how much you're gonna appreciate being in town. <laughs> I made it! <laughs> I made it! All of Washington twice. Check! Now to burgers! <laughs> <laughs> 